This is Calvin Castine. It's the 28th day of February 2004. But we're not at the end of February yet. We've still got one more day. It's a leap year. And the guys out there are leaping around, trying to advance to the Section 7 Class C Championship game. The team in white with the, mirror, with the purple trim and the tight kind of the Sentinels. The team in black is the Tupper Lake Lumberjacks. Tupper Lake comes in here. The record of 12 and 9, Ticonderoga 15 and 6. Tie the number two ranked team. We will assume that uh, Tupper Lake would be number three. The winner will face the winner of Seton Catholic and Northern Adirondack. For the first foul of the game, Angela Valley says, I didn't do it. It was my body that did it. Travis Skiff will go to the line for the Jacks. Shooting two, hits the first, first point of the game. Looks like a bunch of bridesmaids getting ready for the wedding here, but I would assume those are cheerleaders. And probably Bobcat cheerleaders. One nothing to score. We're almost two minutes into the game. Nadali pushes it over to Ross. Ross now to Burris. Burris goes underneath. And Bernie is fouled. I hope he didn't pay full price. Bring a pacifier, you get in half price. Basket counted. How about that? So it's a three-nothing score. I think 90% uh, of us were assuming that that was a non-shooting foul. Well, uh, actually, it's a shooting foul. We shot went to the foul line, but, uh, but there was no basket on it. Close three-one in favor of Ticonderoga. They get the ball back. Rainey goes to La Valley. La Valley top of the key. Bowls it. Angela Valley makes it 5-1, Ticonderoga. These two schools also met in the girls' court, uh, semifinals, and Ticonderoga the winner there. Shot by Skiff, and we have a hold. Tough angle up here. From Tucker Lake is trying to tape the game from up there. And uh, this guy's got a monitor to the right and turning the camera. And it's a tough way to try to get a good picture. Rebounded by Ruche. Thrown up by Thompson. St. Louis. Fletcher to Skiff. And Ruscha is fouled. Fouls on Ross. Ruscha at the line. 5-3 now. 5-0-1 to go in the first period. Graney brings it down to the forecourt. Goes to La Valley. Shot put up by Burris, but back up and in by Donahue, Matt Donahue in the game. Makes it 7-3 in favor of the Sentinels. A blocking foul called. A.J. Ross picks up his second foul, three and a half minutes into the game. Ruscha comes wide to St. Louis now over to Thompson. Thompson drives the paint, pulls up too high off the glass, and we have traveling foul. Donahue will inbound it. Graney will bring it up. The Valley out to get it. 
Back to Greeny. We have a whistle. Another stoppage of play. Ball comes deep to Greeny. Had come back inbounds, hadn't established himself inbounds, so Burris is ruled out of bounds and it's a turnover. This is Thompson to Skiff. Thompson makes it 7 6 with the three pointer. Now Graney to LaValle. We give LaValle the shot and he takes it. So if you're going to give it to me, I might as well take it. And it's 9 6 now. Ticonderoga 3 17 showing here in the first quarter. Section 7 Class C semifinals. Ross steps in front, steals it. Ball comes up to Burris. It's the bottom of the backboard. No foul called. Pass broken up by Fletcher. He was talking to his teammate and stuck his hand out and slapped away the pass. Ross to Burris. Burris drives, lays it up and in. Now Thompson brings it up. 11-6, Ticonderoga leads, 2.34 remaining in the first period. Ross almost had the steal. Fletcher kept it, gave it over to a teammate and off the glass. It's uh, 32, that's uh, St. Louis. St. Louis makes it 11-8, two minutes and 14 showing here in the first quarter. Tucker Lake in a 2, 1, 2, 2, 3 type of defense. Ty showing some patience, looking to get the man. Somebody open down to eight on the shot clock. Shot goes up, off the iron. Rebounded by Fletcher. Now Thompson brings it up. A three pointer will tie it with 140 showing. St. Louis up to Skiff. Skiff drives, throws it up, and we have a whistle. Foul is off on Fletcher, offensive foul. Actually, I guess it's not an offensive foul, it's a foul on the offense, but uh, that's the man with the ball makes the foul. I think it's not considered an offensive foul. We're still struggling with our horse voice. Four games yesterday, four today. This is the first of four. Off the rim. And taken away by Riche. Evan Kelly had it, tried to get rid of it, and now Thompson loses it. Harris brings it up under a minute to go in the first quarter. 52 seconds remaining. 11 8. Ticonderoga leads. Taken away again by the Sentinels. This is St. Louis. Gives it over to Thompson. 38 seconds to go in the quarter. Skiff looks around, dishes it off. Thrown up by St. Louis. And St. Louis gets the rebound, and he is fouled. The foul is on Kelly. Twenty-four point two on the clock. This is them both. Lavalley. No, nope, it's not Lavalley. It's Kelly with the rebound. 15 seconds. Five seconds. 
Graney pulls up for the jumper and hits. And that's the quarter. 13-8, back under the lead. After one here on the John Cable. The valley into Graney in the second quarter. It gets underway. Sentinels up by five. Section 7, Class C, semi-final play on hometown cable. Foul on Robbie Lemire for the Lumberjacks. Ball into Greeny. Greeny hits it. It's 15-8. Suddenly a seven-point lead for the Sentinels. No travel. Snyder, out to Luce, pushes it over to Skiff, Skiff working to get free, passes in the paint, it's rejected by A.J. Samus. St. Louis will inbound it. Ball comes deep to Snyder. Throws it away, looking to get it stiff. The valley will inbound it, Bernie will bring it up. Burris has it, calls Kelly out. Bernie for three, too strong. The valley gets the rebound. Managers to bounce it off Ramirez's leg. Coach Skiff uh, helping the refs out a little bit. Ross grabs it for the Sentinels. Thompson back on the floor as Graney hits to make it 17, eight, nine point lead now. It's eight in a row since it was 11, eight for a long time and that's thrown away by Skiff. <laughs> Following a couple length timeout, Sentinels bring the ball down. Rebound. Shot put up by Burris. Thompson with the rebound. Outlet pass in the hands of Skiff. He throws it up off the iron. And rebounded by Samus. 17 8, 9 point lead. Ticonderoga, we've got 550 showing in the first half. up his second foul, six on the Lumberjacks, four so far on the Sentinels. Graney back to Burris. A lot of teams playing, playing zone defense now. Ten years ago, it was rare to find a, a varsity team that would play a zone. Traveling time. St. Louis in for the Jacks, Donahue in for the Sentinels. Short pass to Graney. In and out. Donahue tracks it down. Push the ball outside to Burris. Burris finds a cutting Graney. Nice play. Jamie Burris to Brendan Graney. And it's an 11 point lead. 
Been a while since Tupper Lake has scored. Thompson tied up. Slapped away by LaValle. It's out of bounds. This cheerleaders got to go through all that again tomorrow. Tomorrow's CBAC cheering day. Foul on LaValle, a non shooting foul. St. Louis. Back to St. Louis from Snyder. Uh, taken away, Ross gives it to Graney. Under four minutes to go in the first half. 19-8 the score. Court skip passes. Put up by Ross. Rebounded by St. Louis. Wasn't a particularly good outlet pass. Thompson and Snyder couldn't decide who it was going to go to, and Thompson ended up diving for it. I don't think Snyder was watching the ball. AJ Ross will inbound it. Puts it into Graney. And we call for a drive run. Thompson brings it up. It's guarded by Donahue. Charging called. Skills second foul. Team seventh. But because it was an offensive foul, the player with the ball made the foul. It's not a shooting foul. In and out by Graney. Rebound pulled down by Rouche. We are traveling on Snyder. A tie playing tenacious defense. Timeout, Tupper Lake. Excuse me, Tycon Baroga timeout. Donahue pushes it out to Ross, over to Burris. A.J. Burris, excuse me, Jamie Burris with the basket. Burris, 22-8. The drought continues at the lake, at the upper lake. Second effort by Riche. And the Lumberjacks finally, finally find a way to put one in. It's been probably close to eight minutes, or maybe even longer since they've scored. 1.32 on the clock. Burris, way short, into the hands of Thompson. Riche pushes it out to Clark. Skiff to St. Louis. St. Louis tries a three-pointer and hits. And Jeremiah St. Louis with the bucket. 22-13, we're down to 101 in the first half. for the offense to maneuver out front here. 
looking at this field house and these and Greeny too strong. Outlet comes to Skiff. Throws it up and in. Nice shot by Travis Skiff. And that's seven points in a row for the Lumberjacks as they close it back to a seven-point ball game. 20 seconds to go in the half. So all Tupper Lake's points coming in the last 80 seconds. Last, uh, all the points of this uh, quarter at least. Ten point seven on the clock. Foul was on Uche. Oh. Looked like Tupper Lake was going to get another two. And passes just barely in the grasp of Clark, who had to go way up for that one. And Tupper Lake will get another shot. Skiff comes up short, and that'll do it. So a lot of activity in the final 10 seconds on that, that half. But when the dust settles, it's 22-15. Ticonderoga leading Tupper Lake here on viewer-supported hometown cable TV that's worth your support. Ball comes into Skiff. Second half is underway. Section 7, Class C semifinals. Winner to face Northern Atlantic, Seton Catholic winner. Thrown up. Jamie Burris with the ball. Number Jacks take it away. St. Louis brings it up. Fletcher fakes it to St. Louis, gets it out to Thompson over to Skiff. Thompson puts it to the floor. St. Louis, nine on the shot clock. Six, St. Louis dishes off, he traveled. You've seen that hop, skip, and a jump call to travel a couple of times tonight. It's unusual, the refs usually give the players all kinds of jumping up and down out there without calling it. 22-15, 6.50 showing here in the third quarter. Ticonderoga ball. Ticonderoga 15 and six thus far. Sent the uh, Lumberjacks 12 and nine coming into today's game. Thompson, guarded closely by Donahue, taken away by Green. It might be Fletcher. St. Louis will sit. Fletcher picks up his third foul. He's still in the game. Stolen by Fletcher. Skiff. Got uh, slippery hands today. Coach Skiff uh, may not give him a ride home. Two minutes into the second half, still looking for the first points of the third quarter. Graney puts it up. 
And Ross ties up Thompson. Graney with a shot. Burris tracks it down, gives it back to Graney. Burris pulls up for a 12-footer. Donahue puts it back up and in. Tough shot by Matt Donahue. He's falling backwards, but still found a way to get that one up and in. Intended, intended for Fletcher, taken away by Riche. He draws the foul, but Fletcher would have had an easy two. He, he didn't see Fletcher there, obviously. But it gets Lavalle into his third foul, so he makes both of these. It'll actually be a plus for Tupper Lake. Because they'll still get the two points, and Lavalle will have picked up his third foul relatively early in the second half. 26 to 7, 24 to 17. 517 on the clock, third quarter action. Section 7, Class C semifinal. Burris waiting for the defense, gets it over to Ross. Burris dishes off to Graney from three point land off the rim. Rebounded by Riche. Thompson will bring it up. Skiff has it slapped out of his hands by Burris, so stay black. Thompson will inbound it. But first, Samus will come in. He'll replace Lavalle. Top of the key, shot is missed. Rebounded by Fletcher and he's fouled. Donahue's first foul, Fletcher will inbound it. We'll try it again. Offensive foul on Skiff. Teams with two points here in the second half. With 420 in the mark on the clock. Five, four, five, that's Fletcher. And this is fourth. Fletcher's gonna have to come out. Tupper Lake side really hollering. Unfortunately, I can't pick up who it is. Skiff brings it up. Skiff has three fouls. Penetrates. Off balance shot. Some badly needed points for Tupper Lake. It's 27 to 19. Donahue, top of the key, off the rim. Rebounded by Ben Merrihue, who came in for Fletcher. Thompson with the ball. Drives. 
foul on the floor for Steve Chris. Thompson will inbound it. Shoot three. First foul of the game for Jamie Burris. 3.16 on the clock. Thompson misses the first. He's got two more. Two out of the three, it's a six-point ball game, 27-21. Tupper Lake still very much in this one, 3-10 left in the third. Graney looks underneath, gives it to Burris, back to Graney. Over to Ross. Samus in the corner to Ross, skip pass to Burris, pulls up for the jumper and hits. That shot by Jamie Burris. Back to an eight-point Ticonderoga lead. It's 28-21. Off the foot of Bar Maryhill. Off the foot of Maryhill. Two and a half to go in the third. Ticonderoga leading by eight. Graney triple teamed. Pushes it out to Ross. Top of the key, in and out. Rebounded by Clark. Ball comes to Skiff. No travel, pulls it up, throws it up. Gets the ball back. Mary who rebounds, and he's fouled by Samus. Donahue and Kelly in for the Sentinels. We're back to a six point ball game, 29 23. Two minutes and one second remaining in the third quarter. Graney over to Burris, skips it over to Graney. down by Riche. Uh, Thompson brings it up, keeps it, throws it up, underhand scoop shot. Made famous by Norman Racine 40 years ago, 40 plus years ago. by Donahue, 104 to go in the third quarter. Sentinels up by six. Novalli pushes it outside and we have a reach. And it was Skiff with the foul, that's his fourth. He's gonna have to sit. So Fletcher and Skiff both on the bench. Good foul trouble for the Jacks. Uh, St. Louis back in for Tupper Lake. Burris from the corner. Picks the baseline tray. And it's a nine point lead for the Sentinels. 41 seconds to go in the third. Sentinels should look for one. Thirty-two, twenty-three. And 
the foul. It might be on Maryhill. Cheerleaders are trying to sneak in over the wall. Foul is on Maryhill. Baseline shot. Rosale with the put back. Rebounded Maryhill. Nine seconds, still a lot of time. Four seconds. Thompson from downtown. Hits the front of the rim. Hits off the shoulder of Maryhill. Should have been an easy put back. I mean, he wasn't prepared for the, the bounce off the rim. It hit the front of the rim and came right down at him. Didn't give any bounce to it. This ricocheted. 32-23, nine-point lead, Ticonderoga after three here on Hometown Cable. There are pictures being taken in the stands here. Young girls got a camera, taking pictures of her, her seatmates. Fletcher are both sitting to start the fourth quarter. The Tucker Lake, both of them with four fouls. They can't sit too long. The team is down by eight. Ten on the shot clock. The Valley skips it over. Out of bounds. St. Louis into Thompson. Clark, Thompson, St. Louis for three. Lavalle with the rebound. Graney brings it up. Neither team with a cheering squad. Playing catch out front. <laughs> timeout, 30 second timeout, Tupper Lake. 617 remaining. Great trail. <laughs> Cardinal coach Tom Curl signing autographs. Oh, I guess it was a pass off the glass. Keeps it, lays it in. Follow the end, Thompson. He makes it to be a 12 point lead. 11 point ball game. Rebounded by Lemire. Skiff and Fletcher have got to come back in for Ty. There's not much sense keeping them out. Unless you've got confidence in the guys that are on the floor. Maryhill puts it back up. Fouls <laughs> on Lemire. Number 21. His third.
has it stolen away. Here's Graney. Lays it in. 13 point lead now for Ticonderoga. Snyder and Fletcher will come in. And Samus will come in for Ty. will shoot. Misses the foul shot, rebounded by Green. 36-23. 4.40 to go, a low scoring ball game. The winning team will be in the 40s. And possibly in the low 40s. Burris back on his feet. <laughs> Graney will shoot. Rebounded by Lemire. Ball is pushed up to Snyder. 4-14 left in the game. Fletcher throws it up. Ross with the rebound. 4-03 to go in the game. 36-23. Ticonderoga leading Tupper Lake. Fade away. Off the glass, I think. Maybe not. I don't think he could hit the glass from there. Uh, Brandon Graney, and it's a 15-point lead now for Ticonderoga. Stolen away by Burris. 3.35 left in the game. Rebounded by the Lumberjacks. Hello, Channel 5. And some footage over there. Skip finally coming back in. His team down by 15, 301 on the clock. I'm not sure what the strategy is. Blair keeping him out this long. That's his father. I think it's his father who did it. He's back in and scores. Samus answers at the other end. 40, 25, 236 remaining. Time out. Couple late. Second backcourt, but barely. Too much dribbling, dribbling there by Graney. This is not the Globetrotters. This is a high school basketball. The foul, I believe, is on Lemire. 
He has fouled out. Robbie Lemire. Two oh nine on the clock. Tyke on the road up by fifteen. Sixteen as Greeny hits both of them. Mary Hill puts it up, misses it. Ross comes up with it. Under two minutes to go, no foul. No foul, wow. Thompson just shoved. Now we are traveling. <laughs> Thompson uh, shoved Ross to the floor. And there was a lot of contact in different places before that. And then it looked like traveling at the down here at the other end. So the refs probably want to get this one over with. Burris at the line for two. Double bonus situation. Kevin Platt in for Tupper Lake, getting some playing time. Off Burris, black ball. Thompson will inbound, give it to Skiff. 43-27. Mary Hill wide open. 43-29. Jim Gagnon's turn to buy. Skiff for three, no. Rebounded by Lavalley. Burris is on the floor. One minute remaining in the game. Donahue back out to Burris. on the shot clock. And Greeny is fouled before the shot. Okay, Andrew Kuhl, AJ Samus, and don't have a 33. Maybe Brian Johns. I don't know. Got a 53, but no 33. 45, 29, 16 point lead, 36.7 on the clock. To the top of the lake, you definitely want to get to at least 30 points here. Don't want to score just 29. Sure, what Skiff's doing out there? Donahue at the line. This is them both. Well controlled by Platt. Pushed up to Skiff. Turn, spins short. <laughs> At the buzzer, Granny's shot will count. So it'll be 48 to 29. 48 29. 
Ticonderoga advances to the Section 7 Class C Championship. And it's the way it was, February 28th, 2004. Thanks to those of you watching and supporting, viewer supported local television, hometown cable TV that's worth your support. Thank <laughs> you.